To put together this program, we've asked questions like, what is it that differentiates a top sales performer from a mediocre one? Why is it that one salesperson will get consistent results no matter what the marketplace and another one will consistently struggle? So, uh, Kevin, seems a bit um, slow around here. It's out of our hands, mate. I mean, it's the markets, isn't it? I mean, I work my butt cheeks off. You know, I, I put the effort in, but clients keep letting me down. You know, if they're not going to buy, then I can't do anything really, can I? Oh, I don't know, Kevin. Um, maybe it would help if you turned up your enthusiasm a couple of notches. Uh, maybe up to at least a, a three? If you want to reach clients, if you want to differentiate yourself from your competition, if you want to get clients to talk to you, to engage with you, if you want to get into a proper relationship with your clients, then you have to be at a ten. All right, let's see. When I got here this morning, I was probably about an eight. Yeah, I, I was feeling a bit rough on account of a couple of shandy tops I had with the lads last night. No, I didn't drunk dial her, I drunk dialed her mum. Oi, oi! <laughs> I gave Tiff um, a bit of an eyeful. That took me down to a seven. That's not, it's not, don't report me. I had a good team meeting after that though. Yeah, woohoo, that took me up a couple of notches. <laughs> uh, then Darren gave me a bit of an earful about a deal that I'd lost. Should we talk about this deal? No, let's... Oh, OK. Because this isn't just a selling thing, this is a personal thing. And a lot of people are affected from the outside in, i.e. they allow people, events and circumstances to affect the way that they feel. If you're motivated from the outside in, you're going to struggle to make sure that you're at a 10. And this is what we see. People arriving at work not on a 10, gradually spiralling out of control. Or maybe people starting on a 10, then something goes on that they don't like. Maybe they lose a sale or someone's rude to them and they kind of put their head in their hands and from that moment on, they start to be outside in motivated. I can do better. Yes, I can do better. Better service, better results and more sales. Yes, yes, and thrice yes. I can do all of these things better. I can do them all better. I can do this. I'm the man. I'm the Wayne Meister. I'm the daddy. Who's the daddy? And you, my friend, are on the way to becoming a sales superstar. But it's one thing saying all these things, and it's another thing actually doing it. You need to get to work, Wayne. So knuckle down and make it happen, right. OK? Well, yep. OK. Think about it this way. If you were in the Olympics and you were doing the high jump and you were one of the last two people in that high jump final to win the gold medal and you were sort of limbering up and you were running in to jump over the bar and you ran in and you knocked off the bar, you're obviously going to be disappointed. You're going to be upset. But the critical thing is not really whether you've knocked a bar off or not. The critical thing is that you go back to your seat you sit back down again and you get yourself back into the right state to give yourself a chance to run up and jump over that bar, to give yourself a possibility of still winning that gold medal. This is so totally cool. I know we'll win this business. It'll definitely happen and I'll add real value for this client. Great work. Spectacular presentation. Thank you. I'd really like to award you with the contract. Oh, thank you. And I really look forward to working with you. Thank you, me too.